Hello students, as right now you can see, there is a paper on which you can see we have the notes regarding the importance of cadaveric dissection or the role of cadaver as a teacher. Uh, students, as you know that nowadays you will have a new curriculum and that is your ATCOM. ATCOM means attitude and your communication skills. And under that, you will have this short note, write short note on cadaver as a teacher. So, when you will have this short note, cadaver as a teacher, you have to write down only few important things in your exam. So, the first line you have to write down that cadaveric dissection is an ancient, but it is a very powerful learning methodology. Clear? The second line should be there in your answer that it is the most reliable and powerful tool because there is no any modern technology which can replace. So, you cannot replace the cadaveric dissection with any modern technology. So, therefore, it is considered as a backbone of the anatomy learning. Clear? Now, after giving this introduction, you should write down some important points which has to be there in your short note. And my suggestion is that you should highlight all these points one by one because it's a four marks or not more than four marks short note in different university exams. So, the first line should be that it is a best learning teaching tool. Why it is considered as a best learning teaching tool? Because once you will dissect the cadaver, it is helpful the student to see the structures and the relationship. Now, this relationship is not actually sufficient or you can not convey all the relationship with the help of diagram. The second importance is that by the help of cadaveric dissection, you have a 3D perception of the different organs. So, the spatial relationship between the organs and between the uh, adjacent structures very well appreciated only with the help of cadaveric dissection. The another important thing is tactile appreciation. Now, what this mean tactile appreciation? When you are doing the dissection, it is helpful to first come out from the hesitation to touch a body. So, that is helpful in your clinical practice also. The another importance is that by the help of tactile appreciation, you are able to appreciate uh, by your fingers to differentiate between the arteries, nerves, veins, tendons. So, all these tactile appreciations are helpful. Second thing is that it is a very important foundation of self-learning. Now, what do you mean by the self-learning? That whenever we are dissecting the cadaver, it is always helpful to keep your anatomy for long term memory. Because generally students have this complaint, sir, anatomy is very volatile subject. So, as much dissection as you will do, it is helpful to understand the anatomy and that is why it is known as foundation of self-learning. As much as you dissect by yourself, you will learn the anatomy for longer time. So, that is another important thing. Then, it is helpful in understanding of the anatomical variation. Now, what is the meaning of this line? that every time whenever the variations are there, they are not always pathological or abnormal. So, it is helpful to understand the embryology, it is helpful to understand the development of an organ and it is helpful to differentiate that this anatomical variation is going to harm or it is not going to harm an individual. Clear? Then sometimes we will have the cadavers in which you will find the organs which are affected by some diseases and it is helpful to appreciate the normal feature of a organ uh, and compare it with the abnormal feature of a organ affected by some disease. Then no doubt whenever we are talking about the cadaveric dissection, it is always helpful to develop the teamwork. Now how? Because you know that cadaver a single student cannot dissect in the one year. So, it is helpful to develop the skills of leadership. It is helpful to develop how to divide the work between uh, the students 
which are uh, actually dissecting a single cadaver. So, but obviously it is helpful to uh, actually giving you the opportunity to work as a team. Then there are very important function of the cadaver nowadays is they so many departments are nowadays conducting the cadaveric hands-on workshop. Now these workshops are basically helpful for the clinical departments to develop the skills. Why? Because if you are trying to do some uh, experiment or if there is a new uh, residence in your department, they can do some error in the cadavers, but those errors are can, not acceptable in a living person. So by the help of these hands-on workshops, which are actually nowadays conducting on the cadavers, a person can develop the surgical uh, procedures and improve their skills. Then their last importance of the cadaver as a teacher is for the research and advancement. So whenever we are talking about the research and uh, advancements, the cadaver are useful because they are the uh, area where we can dissect and we are founding we, uh, whatever the uh, variations are there, what newer things we can develop in any surgical approach or in some medical conditions. So students, in nutshell, when you are writing this short note, the role of cadaver as a teacher, I sincerely suggest that this much information is more than sufficient and you should start with the introduction and then you have uh, these points in your mind that it is a best learning teaching tool, it is helpful in 3D perception, tactile perception, self-learning, understanding of anatomical variation relation to the embryology, effect of disease relation to the pathology, teamwork, clinical skill development by conducting hands-on workshop and research and advancement. So this is how you can write down this short note from the ATCOM. So this is all for this session. Thank you.